things that happen now been got food poisoning so we're not going to the philippines yet this sucked but they'll give you oxygen already they were giving me oxygen and breathing oh serious okay time check it's four exactly 5 a.m adjusting to the weather here I love it <laughs> <laughs> can you just leave me here <laughs> just kidding of course we also miss so much the Philippines so we're gonna be there soon see ya New airport and it's already like fully booked already. It's a bit hectic here. Is it always like this? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. What do you expect? Three. Million, imagine three million tourists in one airport. I guess it's not that big, but for our tiny country. Yes. It is. Time. Six thirty-five. Six thirty-five. Wait, one and a half hour. We gotta go through the customs. Check in. Buy souvenirs, pass the loop on, and eat breakfast, hopefully, all in that time. Salmon. Smoked salmon. How is it? Good. I like it. Shrimp. Hmm? Shrimp. Shrimps or lobster? Well, we're now in Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, and honestly, that was one of the worst moments of my life. We ate the shrimp. Remember the shrimps this morning? Yeah. I think we even filmed it. At least yours. We're like, I don't know if we filmed mine, but they filmed yours. Both. Okay. All of those shrimps might have just been like too old, or I don't know. Like that was. 100% from that food poisoning and uh, started happening about one and a half two hours after I ate which is normal to get food poisoning I just started puking puking and sweating and dizzy and at one point I was laying inside the uh, area of well, the flight attendants I just laying there on the floor because I felt that was the best place like a little bit dark and cold there and it just got worse and worse and worse and uh, apparently they they called doctors and emergency thing we landed so they came into the airplane and we were about 30 minutes inside the airplane with the doctors mm -hmm. that was quite a long time that was my worst i was scared now so i was with them and i was still puking in front of everybody and sweating a lot they were checking my pulses and blood pressure or something then we decided to we're going to the hospital 
and we're to cancel our flight to the Philippines. This was our first flight on our three flight trip to Cebu. Long story short, we get our backpacks and um, my luggage that was brought out of the plane. We had to take everything out and, uh, and we decide to uh, change the flight. We'll be going there tomorrow. As soon as I was able to start drinking again, drinking some Pepsi you know, uh, with sugar, that just, I don't know, once you start drinking again after puking a lot, it can, it can make miracles. And now I'm almost fine. And, and I'm eating first time again. I'm actually eating a Doritos and Shirley is about to cook something in a very special way. We're not going to the Philippines yet. This sucked. First time this happened to me. I've never been in a wheelchair escorted out of a freaking airplane before. <laughs> How it feels like. Oh, it felt terrible. <laughs> I don't even remember seeing anything. I just had my head down and my puking bag or something. I'll give you guys maybe update tomorrow how my health is. That was that was the worst. Were you scared, Shirley? I am crying there. I don't know. I see you like super um, sweating. Like everyone is panicking actually. Oh. Because for old mom, we are departing on that time. I remember we, arrived, we are arriving now. Yeah. 30 minutes. The flight attendants were panicking. Yeah. Of course, they were gonna be, they'll give you oxygen already. Oh yeah, by the way, they were giving me oxygen, breathing. It was, it was full on, like, it was serious. What are you doing? Because we don't have oven, so what I did is I used the heater to put this spaghetti bolognese inside and it's heat. You put the spaghetti bolognese into the heater. Yep. Now that is ingenuity. Good job. Better to wash it though afterwards. Only one hour in the airport, short transit, and on our way to Cebu. What a crazy trip. Last time this happened to me was actually in 2011, and I was in Indonesia and I ate something in the airport. And the same thing happened, I got food poisoning on the flight, started vomiting, blood, and everything coming out of me. It was a little bit more serious than this time, and I was, you know, brought to the hospital. My best friend in Iceland, we met up. And uh, he took me there and uh, yeah, this was very similar about eight or nine years later. Crazy. So never eat raw food. Especially when you are in the airport. Airport, I don't know, like I it's just weird, like Iceland should not should not happen. But we can learn from it. It doesn't matter how clean the country is, it can happen anywhere in the world. So uh, we're glad we're okay now, recovered and on our way back home in the Philippines. By the way, always so nice to see all the local Filipinos, OFWs, everywhere we go in the airports, there's always Filipinos that say hi to us and it's just so nice. Oh, oh yeah, that's oh, us! Yeah. He's actually watching my <laughs> That's hilarious, we were actually oh talking God. about OFW saying hi to us. Hi, that's hi, hilarious. what's your name, Puya? Noel, see Noel. Oh, yeah. Noel. 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 Oh, with Roel. R. Roel. We actually know a lot of people, Noels, right? Yeah, Ro yeah Noel, Roel. No. Kamusta mo oi? Kamusta mo oi? Filipinas, ma buoy. <laughs> <laughs> we arrived in Cebu after about 45 hour journey. It's been a tough one. Mm -hmm. Sickness, overlay, escorted out of the Airplane in Denmark with doctors. Ah, not a good time, but we're finally here. We're gonna do the uh, customs thing, immigration. Ah, welcome back to the Philippines. And the, one of the best feelings to be back is, of course, the heat. I love the heat. And then seeing palm trees. There's something about palm trees that gets me every time and gives you this island vibe feeling. 
and um, in my opinion that's one of the best feeling so good to be back in the Philippines like, the heat I love the heat guys and the weather's not that cold you know <laughs> and one of the first, first thing uh, you see here of course is palm trees and uh, the feeling that seeing palm trees is the island vibes and for me that is the best one I can get so nice to see palm trees I'm gonna try to get a coconut later drive on the motorbike if it doesn't rain too much we'll see but it's, it's so okay. good to be back here yeah. everyone super friendly we met on the way here uh, locals and people that know is except the uh, immigration officer <laughs> he was a bit rough this time he kept there for like 30 minutes interviewing me about why I've been here and why I don't have my resi alien residency card. But I told him it's at the immigration office. It was not ready before I left the Philippines, so uh, it's waiting there. But it, do it shouldn't even matter. You go in and out of the country. I already had the visa and the extensions and all that. Even the ACR card, my old one, but it expired. So, uh, And then I extended it as well, just to make sure nothing was wrong. So still, he kept... I don't think he knew what I was doing. But anyways, let's get the taxi and go back home. Gotom na oi. Go na. Gotom, gotom. Gotom gayo. Gotom na oi. Follower of her. He's a follower. But he also drove me before. What a coincidence. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Thank you, Kuya. Pin, heavy traffic now going to your place. Traffic now? Yeah, traffic, traffic. Traffic. What time is it? Six, maybe we'll be there seven plus. Uh, You've been in Iceland? Yeah, uh, we were three weeks in Iceland. <laughs> uh, a little bit of vacation showing uh, Sherlin my home. Oh my god. You know what? I've never worn so much clothes in the Philippines ever. And I don't even feel hot. It's so hot. It's not. It's quite cool. <laughs> Or back home, I'll give you guys an update what's coming up. <laughs> 